Tell me why you are sitting at the help desk. I'm sitting here because I have a terrible body image issue. Growing up, my parents were very critical of my body and my weight. Even though I didn't have a weight issue, I was never overweight because I was really athletic. Um, but it was a huge focus of my family. My mom was really thin. And um, it's not to blame or condemn them. That's not the issue. It is to say that what's happened to me as an adult is their criticisms and their voice has become my voice. Mm. And so my voice in my head is very critical of my body, even at my desired weight. I still look in the mirror and look at every lump and bump and think I'm too fat. And my question for you is, how do I unburden myself of this huge issue that runs very, very deep for me? So one of the things that happens to us as people is we remain loyal to family patterns. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, exactly. So when there's a family pattern or a family pathology or a family um, expectation, we remain loyal to them. Mm -hmm. So it sounds to me like you're remaining loyal to the family. Mm -hmm. And it just comes a moment, beloved, when you're going to have to make another choice. If you could have a new idea about your body, what would it be? that have a beautiful, attractive body. Or maybe you don't. Maybe it's ugly as hell. Maybe it's distorted and lumpy and bumpy, but it's mine, so I'm going to accept it. I accept whatever it is. That's the voice I want to have. Well, you need to have it. I accept it whatever it is. Yeah, but, you know, it's lumpy, it's bumpy. You know, I, I saw my first um, lump of cellulite, and I really wanted to have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> That's how much <laughs> And then it invited friends over. <laughs> yeah, and then they had a family. And then they had a whole little picnic right on my thigh. At a party. But you know what? I was so grateful to have a thigh to have cellulite on. Yeah. You get to make a choice about how you feel about the body you have. Yeah. And it's work. Do your work. Yeah. And forgive yourself for believing that you're anything less than beautiful. Forgive yourself for that. Touch and agree. Thank you so much.